Good morning. I've been asked to speak for a few minutes uh, this morning about why I belong here at Westminster Presbyterian Church. Well, I have a membership here and I belong in that sense, but I want to talk about belonging in a greater sense. First thing to note is that I was brought here. 1.5 years old by my parents, Richard and Martha Carpenter, to this piece of ground now covered by this magnificent sanctuary and associated buildings. In 1947, this same piece of ground was covered by a tent. Reportedly, it looked like a circus or an evangelist was coming to town. I cannot stand here and tell you that I remember that tent, but the description of it became so legendary in my house that I'm able to see it in my mind's eye. I was brought up in Westminster Church and have maintained membership throughout my life, a great part of it with my wife, Linda, and enough family to require most of a pew for sitting. I belong here because I was brought here, and Linda found it a good place to be as well. Second reason we belong here is it just feels right here. Always has. Visiting other churches and denominations can be meaningful and uplifting, but it just never feels as right as it does here. <clears throat> Westminster is not perfect. We have imperfect human beings as members and clergy here, but the important thing about us is that we acknowledge our sinful nature before Almighty God and our inability to live up to the standard of love set by our Lord Jesus Christ through his life and teachings. Through our faith in Jesus, his death paid the price for our sin. In response, we know there are things we can and should do to move closer to Christ's standard of love, both individually and as a church. This knowledge becomes a quest, and this quest makes it just feel right here. The third reason we belong here is relationships. As a young child, after I got beyond the tears shed at being left in the nursery while my parents attended church services, I made friendships with my peers there. I felt the love of caregivers there. The nursery and early Sunday school became a good place, a comfortable place. Friendships expanded through elementary and junior high school. All those friendships were born here on this piece of ground. Then high school brought different kinds of relationships. My peer group was here, right here, and my parents could have not couldn't have been more pleased. I loved every one of the people in that senior high group and they loved me. At a time in life when my decision making could have been more questionable, I survived adolescence because of what went on here, right here. I also found intergenerational intergen relationships here in this place ministers, teachers, youth advisors, administrative personnel. I have to take an aside here to illustrate the importance of administrative personnel. A communicants class right here at Westminster Presbyterian Church was asked the question, who is the head of the church? Instead of the expected and previously taught answer, Jesus Christ. A well-informed little voice offered the best answer they could suggest, which was Martha Hebb, who was the one and only church secretary at the time. To finish my thought though, adult mentors and current friends are and have been cherished relationships here, right here in this place. So somehow we get here we like it because it just feels right here. 
We build relationships here, and together we worship and serve God here. For Westminster Presbyterian Church to continue to be here, each member has to prayerfully consider what financial and service commitment he or she can make, either individually or as a family. That's what makes it work here, right here at Westminster Presbyterian Church. We have no other way. I think this place and all the places reached by the people here are worth our support, don't you?